Hello friends, welcome to BISPSolutions.com. My name is Sumit and I'm a Salesforce consultant with BISPSolutions.com. In this video, I'm going to talk about analytic extended metadata, which is known as XMD in Wave Analytics. So basically, this XMD, it enables it, a developer to customize the formatting of the dataset fields and their values in analytics dashboards and lenses. So whenever we load the data in a Salesforce Wave, it automatically occupies the standard look and feel, standard formatting of that data set. But using XMD, we can customize it. We can we can format it, we can change its color, we can change the font, we can change the look and feel. And the best part with customizing XMD is that if we modify the XMD for a data set, every visualizations or all visualizations that uses the data set, whether it in a, a dashboard or in a lenses, all of them will be customized at the same time. So the formatting will be applicable on all of them all together so through this video i'm going to demonstrate you that how can we customize xmd so there would be a series of video and this would be the first part of that video in this video i'm we will be going to see that how can we customize the data set fields and field values uh, in uh, a data set so first of all, let's look at the data set which we are going to use. So the data set I'm going to use in this video is opportunities recipe. And in, the, in this opportunity recipe, so that's this data set is created using a, a data set. And so data set recipe I have designed. We have fields like we have uh, fields like sum of amount and text applicable. These are the measures and dimensions. We have fiscal period, lease source, name, opportunity ID, opportunity type, stage, and value category. So let's assume I change it to sum of amount. I set the measure as sum of amount and dimension I set as stage. So my requirement is to modify this, rename this close lost and closed one as one and lost using XMD. So in order to do that, we would be going to save this first of all, because I just wanted to show you that how it works. So let me save this lens and let's say XMD lens. I just give a name as XMD lens. And then because to download the XMD for customization, we will edit data set. And here we will get an option called extended metadata file. So in extended metadata file, there are two options, download or replace. So right now I'm downloading it for customization. So I download it and the file gets downloaded named as opportunity recipe.xmd1 because I've already downloaded it previously as well. So that's why one, let's look at the file. So that's my opportunity xmd metadata one. So that would be in download uh, my documents and download. So let me open that folder. That's a download folder. So I'll just copy this or let me do one thing. Let me open with Notepad++. So edit with Notepad++, Opportunity Recipe XMD1 JSON. And uh, I change it formats as a, J as a JSON format. And the requirement is the requirement is we would be going to change the opportunity stage names as close lost would be marked as lost and close one would be marked as one. So for this, uh, we are going to make change in dimension. These are dimensions. If you have to make change in major, we'll customize major. But right now we are going to customize dimensions. So for dimension and make sure the formatting of it that it should be proper your json will be proper formatted otherwise it won't acceptable by the wave and it may throw an error message for you so field and it's a case sensitive language so take so please take care about this uh, 
field names stage name so the field name is a stage name so i'll click on fields and look for i'll find out the api name of stage so stage is stage name s is capital n is capital so I stage name comma label set as stage name comma members which we want to customize members which we want to change so i'm going to change two members so that's why i define two brackets so the first member label i set as lost and the member name is closed loss so the closed loss would be marked as lost and the same for closed one would be marked as one so i want closed one should be marked as one so that's what we want closed lost and closed one so closed lost and this would be marked as one as i mentioned that it should be proper formatted and uh, comma and there is one more property called show in explorer set to true show in explorer set to true means that you would be able to see these two option over here in a stage should be available here otherwise if we set this to false it won't be available over there so let's save this and in order to customize the changes that reflect the changes in lenses or in dashboard we need to upload that xmd back onto data set so i just replace it with the downloaded one downloads and xmd recipe opportunity recipe dot xmd one open it it may take some time and if any error occurs it will throw the error message so there is no error message and we got the succeeded message the xmd has been updated successfully so let's close it and let's test the lens now as soon as we i switched on i access the lens you can see the closed one has been turns, um, replaced as one and lock closed loss will be replaced as closed loss and if any uh, as i mentioned in beginning any number of dashboards lenses we have designed using the data set everywhere it will get updated so this is how we can customize the field names and field values using xmd editor so that's all in this video this is the first part of the video in next upcoming videos we would be going to see how to work on measures till then have a nice day goodbye Th once again thanks for watching our videos and liking our videos so if you have some queries you can post your comments in comment box or you can drop an email to us